Hi guys and welcome to part 21 of Skyrim Mod Sanctuary. And in this video we are going to talk about bows and arrows. I'm currently doing an archer playthrough and already I have quite a list of mods I absolutely have to have. And the first mod on that list is a mod that replaces the running animation when carrying a bow. Uh, the vanilla games animation is really bad. You sort of look like a gorilla or a chimpanzee. It really is terrible. It's almost like they've um, got the troll animation in by mistake. Uh, it's not so bad when sneaking, but when running generally, the, the right arm sort of flaps around and, I don't know, you just look ridiculous. So, we're going to use a mod called Third Person Animation Tweak Run Forward with Bow, and it comes in two versions. The one you're looking at now is version 1, and as you can see, it's a massive improvement. You're still slightly leading with the left shoulder, but the right arm is now firmly under control. It's, uh, it's not flapping around ridiculously, so this is a great improvement for me. And the second version. And the second version is a little bit more square on. As you can see, you hold the bow a little bit more vertically and you're a little bit more square on rather than left shoulder, shoulder forward. But either animation, a big improvement over the vanilla. Now, there is actually another mod that changes these animations and it's called Casual Bow Animations. And as you can see, basically now when running with a bow, you look pretty much the same as when running normally casual animation it's called um, and I actually think this is uh, really good because um, it's just very natural looking um, and also when you stop it's also replaced the casual animations for standing idle so as you can see um, ordinarily whenever you stop you stand looking like you're about to shoot whereas with this one you look pretty relaxed pretty chilled out so I really like this you should be careful um, if there are two versions of this mod, one version, as you can see, the the posture seems to be for females. Um, I didn't see anything that actually said that, but it looks very much like the female animation. So uh, pick the right animation for your character. I'm I'm using the the second one, the B option, and as you can see, a lot more masculine. But in general, just overall, I like this mod. Not just because it's running is better, but also the standing animations. So in the end, this is the one I chose. Okay, so that's the animation sorted. Let's talk about the arrows themselves. Now, one of the things with Skyrim and arrows are the fact that the arrows seem to be a little on the short side. The arrowhead is dangerously close to your hand, especially if you get um, the larger arrows. Um, and I mean larger with the larger heads, like the dwarven arrows. They're like touching your hand, uh, which would obviously be very bad if you were shooting. So there is a mod called Proper Length Arrows, and it fixes exactly that. And as you can see, the arrow is a lot longer now, and looks far more like the classic archer actually and the arrowhead is well clear of your hand so no chance of uh, slicing your fingers off one small issue though if you look where the arrow is pointing it is slightly off from where the arrow actually flies um, you have to look hard to notice it but it's um, it's not the fault of this mod it's the fault of the game um, it doesn't actually send the arrow in the direction the arrow is pointing. It sends it towards the crosshair. So that is a small problem with the game itself. Not And until someone actually makes a mod that basically straightens up the aim so that you're looking right down the arrow as if you've got your left eye closed, um, that is just going to be one of those things we have to live with. Now, one other thing you should know about this mod is it does have a a side effect in that the arrows now pierce a lot further than they did before so whatever you shoot the arrow will not just stick in them it will go through them and I apologize for doing that <laughs> I could not resist um, but actually it doesn't change the game in any way whatsoever um, basically you just get arrows going through things now there is another mod that does something similar and that mod is called Closer Quivers and Longer Arrows um, and as you can see it also makes the quiver sit a lot closer on your back. In my case it actually looks like it's inside my back so I actually prefer the 
proper length arrows, but if you like this mod, it also has longer arrows as well. Now the next mod I'm going to show you is the Arrow Tweaks mod. Now it lets you tweak quite a few things, many of them that are just a little difficult to actually show on video. So for example, you can um, increase the amount of arrows that get looted. You can increase the amount of arrows that you can buy on a merchant or decrease them if you wish. Um, you can also change the damage on the arrows. It doesn't make them um, overpowered or anything. It just makes the, the progression from one arrow to the next a little bit more reasonable, a bit smoother. I actually quite like it. I like his uh, basically what he calls his vanilla progression. I'll show you that in the install section. Um, but it also allows you to increase things like the speed the arrows hit. Now that part of this mod is actually based upon an, an earlier mod called Faster Arrows and I will link to that mod as well. But as you can see, the vanilla speed of arrows um, is it's fast, but you can actually see the arrow quite clearly as it flies along the path. It's not exactly super fast. And now let's see it with the mod at 100%. And as you can see, the arrows are they're hitting so much faster you can barely see them. It's just a, a very brief blur as the arrow flies across. So, a lot faster. And for me, I like this. Now, again, I'm not an expert on archery. I don't know if it's more realistic, um, so don't shout at me if it's not. I just like this. Now, one thing I noticed straight away was that my crosshair was no longer pointing to where the arrow flew. As you can see, the arrow is flying a little higher than the crosshair, so I have to aim low. However, um, when I went back to the mod author's page, he clearly shows you how to fix that. Um, it's a couple of any tweaks that you need to put in. And as you can see, the arrow, once again, is going exactly where the crosshair goes. So no problem whatsoever. And I will show you that in the install section. And the next mod I'm going to show you is the Arrowsmith mod. And this mod does something very small, very simple, and that should have been in the game from the start. And that is, it allows you to make arrows. You will need the appropriate smithy skill. So, for example, I don't have any perks at the moment, so I can only make iron arrows. But if you've got the ebony perk, you can make ebony arrows, etc. Um, it uses whatever metal you need um, and firewood. So, no more saving all your ebony arrows for special occasions, just make a hundred of them, use them at will. And the final mod I'm going to cover in this video is the Realistic Ragdolls and Force mod. Now, this mod basically reduces the force that gets applied to dead bodies, etc. Um, when, they, when they get killed. And if you want to see the sort of things it does and why it's a big improvement, there, there is actually a couple of videos on the page that show you, uh, and they're very good, well worth watching. But from the point of view of an archer, basically the main reason I use this mod is the physics when being shot by an arrow are absolutely ridiculous in the vanilla game. As you can see here, you know, basically my arrow is making the target go airborne. It's as if the person's been hit with a ballista. Now, this mod comes in three different versions. It has the realistic force, where, you know, you get hit by, by an arrow. If you die, you just fall over. Um, there is one that still has uh, a little bit of force, but it's nowhere near as much as the vanilla one. And then a medium one, which is sort of, you know, halfway between. I use the realistic one. Uh, much improved for me. I mean, I, I hate shooting people with an arrow and watching them get knocked off a cliff uh, so I can't loot their bodies. Installing most of these mods is pretty easy, um, but the third person animation tweak run forward with bow. Remember, there are two versions. You need to pick one of them. Uh, check out the video, or check out the screenshots, decide which one you want. The casual bow animations also comes with two options, just download one of them. The realistic ragdolls, that actually comes with three versions. And again, just um, pick one of them and download. And that leaves us with the arrow tweaks mod. Now this is the only one that's got really 
anything that needs a bit of concentration. Um, the actual mod itself is very easy to install. You download with Manager, and once it's downloaded, you just activate it, and there's this really nice um, installer program. You pick the options you want. For example, I like the 100% faster. I'm going to pick the vanilla progression, and I don't mind the recovery rate of the game or the loot or merchant rate, so I'm going to leave all of those as default and hit finish. But you should remember that the aim was a little bit off on the um, on the arrows when using the faster speed, and there is a fix for it in your ini files. So the first thing to do is to find the Skyrim ini file. Now I have a shortcut to mine, but yours will probably be under Documents, My Games, Skyrim, and Skyrim ini. Now the area you're looking for is the combat area. So if you just control F, combat. And you see the combat area. Now the chances are you won't have as many entries and you may not have the actor entry so it'll probably look something like this. Um, it probably won't have those. So it will probably look suspiciously like this. So you're going to want to copy this and go back to your Skyrim Mini file and paste it. Now you don't want duplicate entries so I'm going to get rid of the combat and magnetism strafe heading multiplier yes that's also been included so I don't need that now and magnetism look multiplier yes don't need that. So in actual fact mine now looks exactly the same as this. Double check that you didn't have this one somewhere else it's a very small file, but I didn't have an actor section. And I only had two entries in my combat section. So it's pretty easy, but that will mean that your arrows now fly towards the crosshair. And that's it. I'm now ready to shoot people with arrows. And that is also it for this video. I hope you found it useful. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, remember, click the like button. I always appreciate that. I look forward to seeing you guys for the next video, and until then, have fun.